It's the United Nations watchdog on human rights, and the U.S. wants no part of it. The American ambassador to the U.N. announced in the strongest of terms that the United States was leaving the U.N.'s Human Rights Council, effective immediately. For too long, the Human Rights Council has been a protector of human rights abusers and a cesspool of political bias. We take this step because our commitment does not allow us to remain a part of a hypocritical and self-serving organization that makes a mockery of human rights. The decision to leave the council came a day after the UN human rights chief, Zaid Ral al Hussein, criticized the Trump administration's policy of separating migrant children from parents crossing the U.S.'s southern border. On Twitter, he called the American withdrawal disappointing but not surprising adding that the U.S. should be stepping forward, not backwards. Nikki Haley said the decision had been long in coming, pointing to a year-old request that the 47-member council make changes. She lambasted the body's, quote, chronic bias against Israel, as well as the fact that countries with human rights abuses, like China and Venezuela, remain members. This is the latest of similar withdrawals by the Trump administration. It left the U.N.'s cultural and educational body. UNESCO, as well as other multinational treaties, such as the Paris Climate Accords and the Iran nuclear deal.